Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me for today's video which is going to be French girl style in 2021 and creating a French inspired autumn or fall capsule wardrobe. So in today's video I'm going to take you through some of the guiding style principles. We'll also have a look at each of the different 15 categories that comprise this French inspired autumn or fall capsule wardrobe. We'll have a look at the colour palette and I'll also share some of the details on the pieces that I've selected and why I think they really represent some of the French girl style for 2021. When we think of a French girl style, what we're actually thinking of is the Parisian aesthetic. So the Parisian way of styling designed for living in a big city as opposed to living in the countryside. I feel what's great about today's autumn or fall French inspired capsule wardrobe is that there are pieces here which you probably already have at home in your own wardrobe and I also feel that there is a real focus on quality pieces, pieces which you can use season after season, year after year. So if you love the French way of dressing, if you love capsule wardrobes then I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. And I'll also link the pieces shown in today's video down in the description box as well. The colour palette for today's French inspired autumn or fall capsule wardrobe is heavily neutral and cool toned inspired. The main colours are black, white and navy and there are accent colours including mid and light blues, grey and cream. I did want to touch on one of the most important uh, style guiding principles which I really feel reflect the essence of a French girl style particularly in 2021 and that guiding style principle is quality over quantity. So one of the things which consistently comes up again and again whenever we look at how the French dress, how they, they approach style, is they really do focus on the quality of a piece over having lots and lots of the same type of piece. So this means really thinking about which pieces work for you and trying to find the best quality that you can afford. So I think that paying attention to things like fabric and also craftsmanship, having that attention to quality over quantity realistically means that your pieces are not only going to look nicer and feel nicer on you but they're potentially going to last a lot longer in your wardrobe as well. So we'll go on to the first item in the tops category and this is something which I have seen a lot of women in France wearing on social media. It's something which is always touted as one of the items that comprises a French girl style and it is a silk blouse. So this one that I've got here is a recent purchase from the French retailer Cezanne. Having a lovely silk blouse I think is perfect for autumn or fall when the weather starts to get a little bit cooler. It's just such a versatile piece that can be used for work or the weekend as well. So the second item in the French inspired autumn or fall capsule wardrobe would have to be a t-shirt. Now I know that a white t-shirt is often you know, listed in a lot of the French girl style lists. Um, I've got three different options here when it comes to t-shirts because I really have developed a true appreciation for them this year. So I do have the classic white tee. Obviously it is such a essential basic to have in anyone's wardrobe. The French really know how to pair a white tee with a pair of denim jeans and just make themselves look like they haven't even tried, haven't given a thought to how they dress. But I think a white tee is definitely a must have basic, especially during fall. And I've also got a, another one here in blue. So it's exactly the same version of this, but just in a lovely light blue color. And a most recent addition to my wardrobe, I actually got this a couple of weeks ago. This is from a French brand called St. James. And they make beautiful um, marignans. They're from um, fabricated in France. And so I just thought having a sort of navy and white striped t-shirt was something that was a little bit different. It still gives you that French sort of aesthetic, um, but it's just got a little bit more interest than just a plain white tee. 
So the reason why I'm saying t-shirts are great for autumn is because they're going to work during those days when it's still warm, but they also act as a really great base layer. So if you wanted to throw a blazer on over the top, then they're a really great basic essential to have. The next one um, in the tops category, I think we all know and love a marinier. It's three quarter sleeves. So I think this is a really lovely option to give that a French sort of aesthetic to an outfit. I'm going to move on to knitwear and this is probably more for during autumn or fall, probably from the mid to the end of the season. Um, but I think one of the key pieces, again, it has to be a lovely turtleneck. This is a really fine wool one. Um, so it's going to keep you incredibly warm. The fabric is lovely. Another couple of ones that I've got here, this again is a lovely roll neck or tonal neck. This is in a beautiful cashmere fabrication. So it feels lovely against the skin. And then I've got more of a chunky style knit here. It's just a piece which you can really feel snuggled up when you're wearing it, um, but also can look incredibly chic as well. So the second guiding style principle when it comes to French girl style for 2021 is not paying too much attention to trends and focusing more on your own sense of personal style. So something which I have noticed through doing my own research in my time in Paris is that there isn't a very heavy focus on trends. And if you are looking for a way to sort of infuse a little bit of that French aesthetic into your own wardrobe, I think one of the most important important things first and foremost is to have a really solid sense of what suits you personally. So taking into account things like your body shape, your hair colour, eye colour and skin colour is going to help you, you know, form what colour palette's going to work for you. And then also taking into consideration your lifestyle. So do you live in a city? Do you live in a countryside area? Do you work full time? Are you a stay at home mum? There's so many different types of lifestyles that we all have. Um, so I think really paying attention to that is key. So moving on to bottoms. So I think I'll start with the denim. Now, denim, I think, is one of the most core um, building blocks when it comes to creating a French capsule wardrobe. And this is great because it's going to work across multiple seasons throughout the year. So I think one of the styles of jeans which really encapsulates French girl style is a pair of straight leg jeans. Very rare that you will actually see women wearing very distressed jeans or, or jeans with holes or tears in them. The denim that I've seen women wear in Paris generally looks quite classic and has that straight leg style. This is great because straight leg jeans have come back in to um, the focus in terms of denim. This is a pair that I picked up this year from Cezanne, um, but I think having a few pairs of denim jeans um, is definitely something which is going to help you get that sort of French inspired look. Now, I know that I said straight leg jeans are generally what I've seen. However, I think that taking into account remaining true to your own sense of personal style is important. Wear whatever you want, really. The next item in this French inspired autumn or fall capsule wardrobe is a pair of lovely tailored trousers. So I have this pair here in navy. And I think one of the things that I've noticed French women do really well is they're able to pull off a very masculine inspired look while still coming across as incredibly feminine. It just gives a little bit more of a dressier vibe compared to denim. And obviously it's great to have if you're going into the office or just if you want to have a bit more of a smart casual look um, when you're off duty as well. So the third item in the bottoms category is a skirt. So this is a lovely one I've had for quite a few years now. It is a um, midi length at the front and then it's quite long at the back. So very interesting in terms of the overall design of this piece. I just think adding in a skirt for autumn or fall is a great option in terms of the bottoms category, particularly a midi length one because it does give a really elegant and chic um, sort of addition to the overall overall silhouette of an outfit. So the next guiding style principle when it comes to French girl style for 2021 is looking effortless. So looking as if you haven't even really thought about your outfit at all, you've just gone to your closet, 
picked out a few pieces, thrown them all on, and instantly it just all magically works. So I think one of the things when you're trying to create an effortless look in your own wardrobe is really taking the time to consider, do your pieces actually work together? Can you mix and match them? Um, so a lot of that is going to come down to the color palette that you have and also looking at pieces that actually work for you in your lifestyle. Ideally, you want pieces which are pretty simple in terms of the design. So we look at a white t-shirt, for instance, it's incredibly simple. You could essentially pair this with so many different separates. You could throw on a different variety of blazers over this. You could add a scarf and create an abundance of different looks. It is simple in terms of the design, incredibly basic, but that's what makes the pieces such as these essential pieces. And I think having the essential pieces in your wardrobe is definitely going to help you create that effortless French inspired look. And the next category is dresses and I've only got one dress here and that is the ubiquitously adored little black dress. So I feel that when it comes to dressing up in Paris, the women know instantly what works for them and you definitely cannot go wrong with a chic or elegant little black dress. Just having something incredibly simple yet classic um, is definitely a way to make sure you always feel elegant and chic. The next guiding style principle when it comes to French girl style for 2021 is focusing on comfort and practicality. And I think nowhere is this more obvious or apparent than when it comes to the category of footwear. So during my visits to Paris, one of the things which became strikingly clear to me is the fact that French women really invest in their shoes. They have an incredible sense of style when it comes to their footwear. And I was first introduced to loafers thanks to visiting Paris. The loafers category, again, I'm featuring my Gucci Jordan loafers in the standard classic black colorway. I know I've spoken about these so much on my channel. These literally are my most favorite pair of shoes, the best footwear investment I have ever made. So the second footwear option, which I noticed a lot of French women wearing during my visits to Paris, was a pair of ankle boots. So I've got this pair here, um, and they have quite a solid or thick heel there. Now, I do think that the boots, which I did see a lot of women wearing, were quite shorter in terms of the heel, but ankle boots were literally everywhere. Um, and I think they're a really chic option. So definitely pull out your ankle boots for autumn or fall if you want to add a little bit of French chic to your wardrobe. And the last footwear option in this French inspired autumn or fall capsule wardrobe would have to be a pair of ballet flats. So I purchased these on my last trip to Paris. Obviously, these are the very classic Chanel um, ballet flats, but I think there's so many different styles of ballet flats out there. But I think the prevalence of ballet flats and loafers is testament to just the amount of walking that um, French women do, particularly Parisians, because they have such a fantastic metro system. People don't really drive their cars a lot in Paris. There's not a lot of parking spots, so everyone does walk. Um, and I think that that is really reflected in you know the amount of women I saw who wearing ballet flats or loafers or even sneakers really. The first piece in the outerwear category would have to be a leather jacket and I think this is something that the French will do really well. It also adds to that sort of effortless edgy you know I haven't put any effort into my outfit at all aesthetic. Um, so I've got this one here in a biker style um, but having said that, there's so many different um, designs that you can get in terms of leather jackets. So you can get ones that have no collar. Um, you can get ones which are a classic leather jacket as opposed to a biker style one. Ones that don't really have the additional zips. And you can also get ones which are really embellished with the designs on, on the back as well. Um, so there's so many different options to choose from, but I really think having a, a leather jacket, not only is it a really practical um, piece of outerwear for autumn or fall, but it definitely has that little element of Parisian chic. The next category in outerwear, which I feel French girls do really, really well, is blazers. 
One which I did pick up, this is a lovely navy one. So this is actually quite a tailored, it's not an oversized one, um, but it's not too, too fitted either. So having a few blazers in a capsule collection for autumn or fall is really going to help you achieve that French inspired look. This is another one which I've featured in so many videos, a true investment piece for me and definitely helps me to pull together a very chic and elegant look. And the last item of outerwear is something which will probably come as no surprise, but it is a trench coat. This is the only one I personally have. I think trench coats are worn by not only women but men in Paris as well and in many other places across the world but particularly Parisians do love a trench coat and because it is in such a neutral colorway it's going to tie in with any outfit in this capsule wardrobe. Definitely a trench is one of those must-have Parisian pieces for autumn or fall. And the last guiding style principle when it comes to French girl style in 2021 is finding those really key one-off pieces which no one else has. I think French women have that knack for really finding those one-off stylish pieces that they really can claim their own and they'll often re-wear them year after year, decade after decade. So in this category, which is going to be accessories, I've got two different things which I wanted to include. The first one, which I've noticed French women do really, really well is a scarf. Now, I know a lot of the French styling or French capsule videos will suggest a silk scarf. And yes, I do agree. French women definitely know how to style a silk scarf effortlessly. Um, however, another thing I did notice when I was in Paris, particularly during winter time, was the fact that they really know how to tie on just a, a normal scarf, not a silk one. So I've got this a lovely one here, which I've probably had for oh, probably maybe four years now. One of the things that the French women know how to do really well is how to actually style a scarf on them. Um, and how to make it look like they have not even thought about how they're putting it on. Obviously, that's something that I still need to learn how to do myself, um, but I think they really do have a knack for styling scarves, particularly as you get to the end of the autumn or fall season, you're definitely going to want to have some lovely scarves in your capsule collection. As one of my subscribers, Kat, mentioned, who lives in Poland, hi Kat, um, the winters in um, Europe get incredibly cold. So having something like this towards the end of autumn, I think would serve you really well in a French inspired capsule wardrobe. And the last item in the accessories category is a handbag. Now, one of the things I did notice during my time in Paris, and which I've also read about as well, is that I didn't notice a lot of women carrying around um, bags with designer luxury labels emblazoned all over. They really seem to have a knack for finding really one-off original handbags that at the same time look like they were styled personally for them. So the handbag that I've got here is from a French brand called Polen. I've featured this on quite a few different videos on my YouTube channel. Um, the reason why I think this is representative of the French women's approach to handbags is this is not a luxury designer label handbag. However, the quality and craftsmanship on this bag is amazing. It's also in a really unusual eye-catching design. It's incredibly practical, so it can fit a lot inside and it also works back seamlessly with this capsule wardrobe given the very neutral tone colorway as well. Pauline we'll have this in a wide range of different colorways and styles as well. So I'll link their website down below in case you wanted to check them out. I really hope that you have enjoyed today's French fall style for 2021 and this French inspired autumn or fall capsule wardrobe. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below, particularly around the styling guidelines that I have shared and also the different pieces that I have selected for this capsule wardrobe. 
Would you sort of take anything away and add anything different in? Please feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm always keen to hear what you guys think. And if you did enjoy today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because that lets me know that you enjoyed it. And please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this from me in the future, then I'd love to have you here. Hello again to everyone who has returned and to anyone who's recently subscribed. It's lovely to have your support. I really appreciate it and I hope you guys are all keeping well. I'll see you next weekend with a brand new video. Bye.